Okie dokie smokies, I figured it out. And um, thanks to a couple comments and then a little bit of other tweaky things you're gonna see what, what I've had to do. So <laughs> really interesting. Um, and it has to do a lot with why the screen was being updated. So I hooked up the logic analyzer and it's got a little adapter here that allows me to be able to probe the RX or TX from the computer. So from the DTEC, I'm going that way, okay? So data from the computer to the NABU, that's what I'm probing. So first thing I wanted to do was I wanted to know, is this thing actually broadcasting at 111 kilobits per second or is it 115200, right? We assumed 115200, let's take a quick look. So in our settings, we're broadcasting at 115200. And when I click the start button, the very first thing I do is I send out a bunch of 0x55s. The reason why I do that is because they look like this. They're just straight up and down, straight up and down. It's like bit on, bit off, bit on, bit off, bit on, bit off, okay? So when I push start on the Logic Analyzer software, and then I'll push start on the, soft, on, on the NABU software, it'll broadcast at x55. And boom, boom, boom. Now I have this set up, the analyzer, set up right now for the baud rate of 115200. So what you're gonna see with this little dot, these little dots is the very center based upon that baud rate of where um, it would be measuring. So if you look at a MAX32 or any type of UART chip, um, that's where the calculation would measure, okay? So uh, it actually should be closer to 96 uh, microseconds per um, per byte, but we're getting 82, so whatever, that is what it is. So it's it's enough anyway, you see? So now, if I change this to broadcast at our value of 111865, which is what we calculated the, uh, the TR chip in the NABU to broadcast, we're gonna do this again. So I'll push start, boom, Boom. And let's take a little quick look-see here. We'll dive in to the bits. And you can see here that we have this set for right now, right? It's set for 115200, and you'll see that our dots have moved considerably. So it's like right at the end now, right? You see how close that is? So it's within the tolerable range, but that tells me that if I put in our proper value here that we're actually sending in, look, it goes right in the center. So yes, the DTEC is actually broadcasting at the, or transmitting at the, um, the speed that we request. So that's good news. But why is a NABU freaking out? Why does it stop sometimes? Well, I don't know if I can reproduce this. Let me try one more time. So I'm going to, I, I sent a bunch of um, five fives. What I'll do is I'll click start, start, stop. Let's take a look here. Um, okay, this one not so much, but you can kind of see what's going on. So it's sending a byte. There's a big pause, 160 microsecond pause, another byte, and keeps going. Now what's interesting is that I occasionally will get a whole half a second pause between two bytes. And that made me wonder, what is going on here? Well, when I write bytes, I write them out in like this rather than like this. Now, the reason why is because I was having to delay each byte. If I wrote the bytes out completely and I said here to the, to the lower API level, if I said API, write these bytes out, then what'll happen is, um, it would write them too quick and the NABU would just freak out. So I couldn't do that. But what's happening is sometimes because I'm writing everything out in a loop and I was delaying, the delay time will be longer than the delay time I expect. So I expect a delay time of say 750 microseconds, whatever the value is that I was, I was specifying. Sometimes this delay value and the, op the operating system would just do this. It would put half a second in there. And that whole half a second would cause the NABU to say, hey, I'm not getting any data. And it would just exit the data transfer mode. So it had nothing to do with the baud rate being off. It had to do with the fact that because I was looping, firing all the bytes through to compensate for the fact that if I send them too quick. 
So send them too quick, cause an issue. Send them too slow, sometimes causes a long delay. Now, the other thing I was doing is when you write a segment, you have to escape tens because a 10 is an es is actually asking the NABU to escape the, um, the data transfer mode. So by that's why I had to do it in a loop. So then I thought to myself, well, hey, let's just get rid of this function and let's just use a new one, which I created right too. So we're writing out all the bytes just write as a stream, okay, write to the stream so they should not have any delays between bytes, okay? And also, um, I'm looping through this, the, the segment and I'm escaping it and I'm adding it, I'm building an array, okay? And then I write it to the stream. Now you're thinking, well, what just happened? You couldn't do that before, that's why you had the loop to begin with. Well, I'll tell you why is Someone in the comments, a couple people had mentioned, John Basement and someone else, which I never even thought of. That's why it's great having access to the internet, is if I add two stop bits to our transmission, then I will actually extend the, uh, the actual packet longer, right? So let's try that out now. So we'll hit F5, oops, we'll hit F5 and run our program. And we'll configure a baud rate is correct. And, oh, we can't run the program yet. We have to go back in here and remove those escapes that we threw in here. Those test codes, there we go. So now let's run our program. And again, we're using, with no delay, the delay doesn't even matter. I, I can probably remove this whole thing. I'll click start. And I'll click start on our logic analyzer. And then we'll reset our Nabu, and we can watch it transfer. And there we go. And it's transferred way faster than it did before. And if we take a look in here, we do see some delays between two um, packets here, but those delays are because that's the actual computer waiting to respond or transmit. So there's actually conversation here. But if we look at an actual transmission of a segment, you'll see every single packet has no delay inside of it between the two, except for <laughs> this little bit of stop byte. Stop byte, stop bits. So an extra stop bit. So that actually added enough delay. And thanks so much for the comments. That actually helped. So rather than trying to delay, in code, the code delay would sometimes cause the whole operating system to delay up to half a second, and that's why we were getting the, uh, the program escaping. So now, we can run this as much as we want, and, oh, the NABU is just, oh, I'm not even started here, hold on, there we go. And now we don't get any uh, any troubles. So, an extra an escape bit, and build the array and escape the data in the array, and we're done. So very reliable transmission now, and this is as fast as she's going to get. Can't get any faster than this. So, <laughs> so I'm really excited. Nice. I heard it stop, and I was thinking, oh no. It's kind of like um, stuck in my brain now. I keep thinking if I hear it stop, it's because something broke in the transmission. But uh, we don't get breaks anymore. How excited are you? So I'm going to run this release. And then I guess I'm not going to spend any more time on it tonight. Um, I'm going to probably tomorrow update the code to have a command line version. Okay? And then, oh yeah, one extra thing too is I'm going to do a... Uh, a build for Android as well, so you can run this off an Android um, phone. Okay, guys, see you online.